Hi there, my name's Dan. So basically, um, you know what, lockdown sucked. <laughs> lockdown has been really, really hard. I understand the need for lockdown. I understand why we're doing it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we're fighting a virus and we're trying to save lives. But it doesn't mean it's been easy. I found this really hard because I am a very busy person. I love being busy. Being busy feeds me. Doing stuff gives me energy. Uh, so going from a really busy lifestyle to suddenly having to stop and to slow down was really quite hard at the start. But actually, what it's allowed me to do is to spend some time doing something that I never do. And that is some time spent in stillness. Where I just pray to God and sit there in stillness. You know, Psalm 46 says, be still and know that I am God. You know, I've learned a lot about stillness these last couple of weeks through my daughter. Grace is two. She doesn't do stillness, really. Um, but what she does do is tantrums. She is two, after all. And one of the things we found is when she's mid-tantrum, that sometimes we just pick her up and hold her. And in that time, she becomes still. It's brief but she's still and quiet. And I've started to see it in a way that she is borrowing our calm in that time. She's borrowing our strength. And that's how I'm choosing to see my stillness with God right now, is borrowing his strength and borrowing his calm. I'm just going to pray. Yeah, Lord God, we thank you that you are strong. We thank you that you are calm and we thank you that we can approach you and be still and borrow your calm and borrow your strength. We thank you for your word that the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. So Lord, in our tantrums, in our anxieties, in our fear, we come to you, Lord, and we are still. And I just pray that over the next few days, we will all experience a time of stillness with you. In your son's name. Amen. God bless you.